Hello and welcome to a new lesson Theories on the Origins of Human Language. In this lesson we will talk about onomatopoeic theory, interjectional theory, social interaction theory, gestural theory, prosodic theory, social grooming theory, physical adaptation theory, tool making theory, innate faculty theory and divine origin theory. Let's discuss each one of them in detail let's first talk about introduction fascinating mysteries the birth of language is one of the most fascinating mysteries in human history one of the most interesting topics in the history of human civilization the question of how human language originated is one of the most challenging questions to answer it's not easy to answer how really human language originated since language doesn't have direct fossil records no one can pinpoint the exact moment it emerged it's difficult to prove how and when language came into birth many of us believe that language likely evolved gradually shaping early human communication and cognition most of us believe that development of language is an evolutionary process thus theories on the origin of human language are largely based on inference from human anatomy archaeology primatology cognitive science and linguistics each one of the theories attempts to explain how and why language was developed in humans so this is the brief introduction what we call fascinating mysteries about how language evolved now let's discuss each one of the theories the first one is bow wow theory we also call it imitative theory sometimes some people call it onomatopoeic theory what is this this theory suggests that language developed from humans imitating natural sounds like animal calls such as meow by cat and you can see how the cat speaks wow wow by dog like barking sound of the dog and you can see the dog likewise we have kuku by kuku and you can see the picture then we have or the sounds of nature whoosh by wind a sound when moving swiftly you can see the picture of whoosh blowing wind drip by water a small drop of liquid falling and you can see the sound of dropping water so what we come to know is that bowo theory suggest language might have originated from imitating natural sounds we move on to the next point number 2 poo poo theory what we call in other words emotional theory sometimes some people call it interjectional theory what is that this theory suggests that a language originated from instinctive cries or exclamations of emotions such as pain like ouch cry like ah surprise oh joy aha or many other exclamations which we instinctively produce like wow and so on must be the beginning of the birth of language expression linguistic expression okay now move on to the next point number 3 yo ho ho theory what we call sometimes social coordination theory or social interaction theory was that this theory suggests that language originated from rhythmic sounds humans made during communal physical labor or work such as lifting heavy objects or chanting during rowing to show social bonding and coordination when you work together in a group and in order to motivate the entire group to complete the work we produce some sort of you know singing sound or some sort of emotions 
to energize the group to complete the work that is the point here now we move on to the next number 4 tata theory or sometimes we call it gestural theory what is that this theory holds the view that language evolved from gestures and body movements that were gradually replaced by vocal sounds it is widely believed that gestures allow for communications in silence so tata theory is like for example when you go to see someone off bye bye sometimes you say tata hi all such of sounds with body movement with gestures must have caused the language to evolve that is the point here now we have number 5 lala theory or sometimes we call it musical theory or prosodic theory what's that some researchers including charles darwin and more recently steven mithen have suggested that language might have evolved from a holistic or musical like form of communication because you know music is the spontaneous expression of human emotions and this might have caused language to happen we move on to the next number 6 social grooming theory or gossip theory or sometimes we call it contact theory what's that this theory suggests that language evolved as a more efficient way to maintain social bonds in larger groups gradually language gossip storytelling took its place as a means of social cohesion and information exchange so many of us believe that language might have also come from like humans need to express feelings sometimes meaningful or sometimes in a meaningless way to gossip and past time this might have one of the reasons for the evolution of the language we move on to the next seven physical adaptation theory this theory focuses on the physiological changes in human anatomy that made a speech possible such as larynx vocal tract and brain changes as you know the scientists believe that human first grew up physically and it's at the later stage the mind developed helping organs of a speech to help humans to speak that is the point we move on to the next that is point number 8 tool making theory some scholars suggest a link between the development of complex tool making which requires sequential planning and hierarchical organization and the emergence of language which also has a hierarchical structure the same cognitive capacities which are required in the development of complex tool making might have been selected for both causing the birth of language this art of making tools this talent of making tools might have contributed humans to develop the language the idea which he applied for making tools we move on to the next that is point number 9 cognitive genetic or sometimes we call it innate faculty theory what's that chomsky proposed that humans are born with an innate universal grammar or language acquisition device in short form we call it lad a pre-wired capacity for language making language acquisition possible while not a theory of origin it suggests biological predisposition that must have evolved so according to chomsky every human being has you know language acquisition device in his brain it is innate it is natural this inbuilt acquisition device caused language to happen and the last point in this direction is divine origin theory this is a traditional and ancient belief found in many cultures and religions that language was a gift from god to humanity for example in the belief system of judaism christianity and islam the belief that god gives adam the power to name things 
So the last point about divine origin theory is that if God can create human in physical form, he can also create human in a way he can communicate with the world. Now let's we conclude the idea. The origin of human language is likely multifaceted and complex phenomena. It's not easy. It's complex way of discussing things. It is hardly attributable to a single cause. Still we are divided. You cannot say that this is the only cause that might have led to the evolution of language. Modern theories often integrate elements from several approaches suggesting a gradual co-evolution of physical adaptations, cognitive abilities, social pressures and environmental factors. The lack of direct evidence means that the debate about birth of language will continue with new discoveries in anthropology, archaeology and neuroscience constantly refining our understanding. So what we come to the point is that we have a number of theories on the birth of language. It depends upon you how you accept them. Research is still going on. Discoveries are still going on. But each one of the theories has its advantages and disadvantages. But broadly, keep all of them in the mental frame of your comprehension to discuss about how and why the language might have evolved. Hope you understand the concept. Thank you and goodbye.